Hello friends. Today we are going to see the concept of encoder. Encoder is a logic device. What do you mean by logic device? Logic device is a device which works on logic levels. There are two logic levels, logic 0 and logic 1. Okay? Logic 1 means ideally plus 5 volt, logic 0 ideally 0 volt. So, encoder is a logic device that provides the appropriate code. Code may be binary or binary coded decimal etc as output for each input signal. So over here we are having 8 to 3 priority encoder. Priority I will explain this concept later. First 8 to 3 encoder. In 8 to 3 encoder we are having 8 inputs from D0 to D7 and 3 outputs from Y0 to Y2. So 8 to 3 encoder indicates 8 input and 3 outputs. Now 8 to 3 priority encoder. 8 to 3 priority encoder has 8 inputs D0 to D7 and 3 outputs Y0, Y1 and Y2. When any one of these input goes high then code for that output sorry code for that input get generated at the output so example is given over here when the input line d3 is made high keeping all other lines low then code 4 is generated at the output so code for 3 is 0 1 1 making y2 is equal to 0 y1 is equal to 1 y2 is equal to 1 so let's see here suppose this d1 is made high suppose this D1 is made high then what will happen the code for D1 code for D1 will get generated towards the output and we know that 1 code for 1 in binary number system is 0 0 1 so what we will get is the following y2 is equal to 0 y1 is equal to 0 and y0 is equal to 1 that's working of normal 8 to 3 encoder. Now let's see what does priority mean. Priority. Term priority means if one, if more than one of the inputs are made high simultaneously, then the code for the selected input of the highest priority is generated at output. What does this mean? Suppose D1 and D7 are made high simultaneously. So there is a question whether this encoder will generate the output of D1 towards the output or whether it will generate the output of D7 towards the output. Answer is it will generate the code for D7. Why? Because D7 is having highest priority among all inputs. Okay, so priority increases from D0 to D7. That's why code for D7 is generated towards the output. So output will be 1 1 1 y2 is equal to 1 y1 is equal to 1 y0 is equal to 1 so all three inputs will be 1 similarly if d3 and do, uh, d2 are made high then what will happen the code for d3 will be get generated like that remember this priority increases from d0 to d7 if d7 and D5 are made high simultaneously then code for D7 is generated towards the output that's the concept of priority encoder so example is given over here when the input D2 and D6 are made high simultaneously simultaneously means at the same time then code for D6 is generated at the output why because we know that between D2 and D6 D6 is having highest priority as I said priority increases from D0 to D7 that's why D6 will have higher priority as compared to that of D2 so let's see truth table truth table is a table of inputs and output of the circuit so we are having total 8 inputs D0 to D7 and 3 outputs Y0 to Y2 so when the input D0 is 1 then code for that is generated towards the output so code for 0 
is 0, 0, 0. When input D1 is made high and all other pins are 0 and we don't care. Over here X indicates don't care condition. We don't care the value of D0 here. Why? Because it doesn't matter whether this D0 is 1 or 0. Since D1 is having highest priority than D0, that's why code of D1 is generated towards out. In same manner, we can continue over here D7. If D7 is high, okay, if D7 is high, then what happen? See, we don't care what is the value of D6, D5, D4, D3, D2, D1, whether it is 1 or 0. If D7 is high, then D7 is having highest priority and hence code of D7 get generated towards the output and the code for 7 is 111. Thank you very much.